Sit up. Sit up. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Monty Python animated moments. In dentistry, this is known as the domino theory. But with American defense, the decay is stopped before it starts. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the cartoons and other animated moments from Monty Python films and shows created by Terry Gilliam. Number 10. The Prince and the Black Spot, Monty Python's Flying Circus, and, and now for something completely different. Bizarre fairy tales are a recurring element in Python animations, but one of the most memorable is The Prince and the Black Spot. One day, he discovered a spot on his face. The story, narrated by Carol Cleveland, tells of the prince of the land beyond the wobbles. After discovering a spot on his face, the prince ignores it and dies. The spot then comes to life and goes on a journey, encountering a few irritating characters that he leaps on. <coughs> At last, the spot finds love and gets married, living happily ever after, but literally ruining the neighbourhood for his racist neighbours. Agnes, did you just see who moved in next door? The strange turn the story takes, the rude noise the spot makes, and the humour throughout make this an enchanting animated tale indeed. Number 9. Purchase a Past, Monty Python's Flying Circus Advertisements are another Python animation staple. In this one, a grinning cartoon salesman voiced by John Cleese appeals to those whose lives are dull and uninteresting. More in life you need? Then purchase a past. Yes, thousands of people have led far more interesting lives than you will ever lead. He recounts how exciting the lives of other people are, with a montage of cutout figures doing everything from launching a scantily clad woman from a cannon to a policeman with a ballerina under his helmet. But now, for the very first time, Bits of their lives are being made available for purchase. For only 15 shillings, dullards like yourself can obtain beautifully framed photographs of other people's lives. The salesman then offers the customer a chance to purchase a past, which entails hanging framed photographs of other people's lives. The customer is less than happy, however, when the people from the photographs decide to move in. Hello, I'm Uncle Frank and family. Mind if you stay a couple of nights? Or a month? Or three years? It's a fever dream of an advert, but we're sold on the concept. Number 8. Opening Titles Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. Why are we here? What's life all about? Is God really real? It may be one of Terry Gilliam's last animations, but this title sequence for the last Monty Python film is one for the ages. Set against a song questioning the meaning of life, sung by Eric Idle in an outrageous French accent, this opening sequence is wonderfully timed to the music. Is life just a game where we make up the rules? The cartoons touch on images of mundanity, mixed with more complex and esoteric imagery that fits well with the big questions raised irreverently in the song's lyrics. Is mankind evolving or is it too late? God throws out a spherical earth in favour of a square. Disney-going families are printed out of machinery. We may not know why we're here, but if mankind can make silliness like this, life is worth it, no matter its meaning. For this is the meaning of life. La vie. This is the meaning of life. Number 7. Noise Complaint, Monty Python and the Holy Grail <laughs> Okay. The Python's take on this medieval quest is divided into several segments, following each of King Arthur's knights. This animated segment is set to begin Sir Lancelot's tale, but the animated man writing it is startled by a loud noise and scratches out the title. Grumbling to himself, he hurries down a tall tower's many stairs, even falling partway down, as booming sounds echo in the background. The source of the sounds turn out to be clouds, and the sun with huge legs jumping up and down. So stop that! Go clear! Go on, go away! Do it! Go away! And you, clear! 
As hilariously unexpected as that is, it's even more surprising that they listened to him. If only all bad weather was cleared up so easily. Huh, bloody weather. Number 6. Carnivorous Pram, Monty Python's Flying Circus, and, and now for something completely different. In this animation, a hunched, cantankerous old man pushes a pram through a city. What a lovely little... <laughs> As several women lean over the carriage to look at an apparent infant inside, the pram closes and appears to devour them, which the old man takes glee in. What a lovely little... <laughs> However, the third time this occurs, a voice states that they've had enough and turn the pram on the old man instead, sending him running and putting an end to his pram page. This is absolutely disgusting. Disgusting, and I'm not going to stand for it. There. Hmm? Kill. <laughs> Sometimes simplicity leads to the best comedy, and this cartoon is a short but great one. Number five, Krelm Toothpaste, Monty Python's Flying Circus, and, and now for something completely different. Once again, American defense proves its effectiveness against international communism. After a secretary falls victim to a communist conspiracy, a cartoon Uncle Sam advertises American defense to prevent communism, using tooth decay to illustrate its spread. But this soon becomes an advert for Krelm Toothpaste. With American defense, the decay is stopped before it starts. That's why nine out of ten small countries choose American defense. Or Krelm toothpaste. Krelm's tooth protection is then illustrated using two cartoon cars. Finally, the advertisement warps into one about shrill petrol and its new time-dependent engine additive. Gilliam's animations are well known for their ability to translate seamlessly between disconnected scenes, and this sequence is a fantastic example of this. Metaphors become literal, the announcers swap, and there's an awful lot of teeth. Number 4. Opening Titles – Monty Python's Flying Circus The opening title sequence for Monty Python's Flying Circus changed animations each season, giving it plenty of variety. Monty Python, the Flying Circus! Each version has a few things in common, however. Naturally, Liberty Bell plays over all of them, leading a whimsical yet grandiose tone to the ridiculous imagery. They all begin with the show's title being gradually revealed as well. The stream of consciousness animation mixes people, machinery, and animals in various impossible and bizarre ways. The title sequence set the tone perfectly for the show, preparing audiences for the offbeat weirdness that would follow. Oh, and it always finishes the same way, too, with the famous Python Foot. <laughs> Number 3. The Killer Cars, Monty Python's Flying Circus, and… and now for something completely different. Fleet Street, please. After an opening gag in which an old lady trips a bus after repeatedly being ignored, a group of people walk past worried about killer cars. Remember, watch out for the killer cars! <laughs> Narration explains that a certain city's rogue vehicles begin killing pedestrians to help with congestion. However, the cars are in turn dealt with by a giant atomically mutated cat. The cat's fate differs depending on the version, with the TV one getting squashed by a hand. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. You've saved our city. But at what cost? Meanwhile, the film version ends with a man reading about a huge catastrophe, since they don't have the budget to show it, and the cat falling down pipes. The cartoon would make a fun B-movie all on its own. Number 2. Opening Titles – Monty Python's Life of Brian Brian, the babe they call Brian What if the Pythons did a Bond opening? Well, you don't have to wonder, they did, sort of. The opening title sequence of Life of Brian features Gilliam's typical zany animations with a distinctly Roman architectural theme. He had arms and legs and hands and feet. The boy whose name was Brian. The cartoons, like the song, follow a young Brian, though while the animations see him thrown between various monuments that are broken down or zoom around, the music is even more outrageous. Done in the style of the brassy, bombastic John Barry James Bond themes, the lyrics go into exhaustive detail on Brian growing up, 
Like the angelic singer, these titles nearly reach the sun, even if they don't quite make it. <laughs> Number one, sit-up sequence, Monty Python's Flying Circus. Sit up! <laughs> sit up! This cartoon appears in the very first episode of Monty Python's Flying Circus, but it's such a quintessential example of Terry Gilliam's animation. Set against a static background, a succession of cut-out animation scenes play out. <laughs> Women tell young men to sit up with unexpected results. Several people's bodies turn out to be hollow. Soldiers dance to a tune played with a woman's body. The show hits the ground running with this animation, and its simple design merely makes the humour feel accessible and universal, despite how weird it is. And speaking of running, how about that punchline? <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.